boys, so this is Blaze the Booby Fan, and I don't like the expandables movies at all. It truly really is a movie series without a single good entry. The expandables series is, in my opinion, one of the worst movie franchises out there. And unfortunately, I'm here to tell you that Expandables 4 is the worst one so far. And no, I'm not calling it the stylized title, nor am I putting the stylized title in the video title. Fuck that shit. I'm referring to it as Expandables 4, both in the video and the video title, because that's a much better fucking title. Anyway, yeah, I fucking hate the Expandables movies. The main reason I hate them, well, they're just an excuse to bring a bunch of action stars together in one movie. That's all they are. And a bad excuse. Now, this is the worst one so far. I can't really get into why fully without spoiling the movie, so later on in this review, I am gonna spoil the movie. If you want to avoid spoilers, you can mute the part of the video where I spoil it. But before I get into that, I'm going to talk about other things. I'm going to start by talking about the characters. This time it's two which I'm talking about. First I'm going to talk about Barney Roars played by Sylvester Stallone. Now, I will admit, there is one thing I said in a past video which I totally take back. Sylvester Stallone is not a bad actor overall. I did say that in a previous video, but I take it back. Can't be a fucking great actor, I mean, he is great as Rambo and Rocky Balboa in there. Movie series. So yeah, I can't give him credit. He is fucking brilliant in those movies. So he can't be a good actor. Yeah, I totally take it back. With that being said, he's still fucking awful in these movies. Now in this movie, he's clearly an old man. It's very obvious that the character is old as fuck. Which, to be fair, the real life person, Rocky Balboa, Silver Stallone, is old as fuck too, so it's inevitable. Yeah, he isn't very interesting in this movie. Then again, he isn't interesting in any of these Expendables movies. Another big problem with the movies. Yeah, that's another big problem with these movies too. Most of the characters in those movies are incredibly fucking dull. And this one is no different. This is what I mean when I say that these movies are just an excuse to put a bunch of action stars together in one movie. Now then, the next character I want to talk about is Lee Christmas, played by Jesus Statham. First of all, why the hell is his name Christmas? That's just fucking stupid. It's not even funny, it's just stupid. Anyway, let's talk about the character. I've said for a long time that Jesus Statham is a good action star, but he's not a good actor. And he proves that they again in this movie. I will give Jesus Statham credit for one thing. He isn't down at half in this movie. He does a decent job playing the character. I mean, it's not really great, but he does a decent job enough. His character was definitely the most interesting aspect of the movie. Which isn't saying or not, because he is ultimately not that interesting. But he is the least awful part when it comes to the performances. That's all I'm saying. Now, Jason Statham is fucking great with guns. And he proves it yet again with this movie. Speaking of great with guns, now I'm gonna talk about the action sequences. They're fucking boring. Now we'll give the action sequences credit for this. They are well shot, you can see what's going on. There's nothing inherently wrong with the action sequences in this movie. But if you don't care about the characters, which I don't, the action sequences aren't gonna be entertaining, and that's why I found the action sequences in this fucking boring. They would have been a lot better if the characters were actually interesting. Oh, and the fucking dialogue. I can't stand the fucking dialogue. It's just corny as hell. Oh, and there is one stupidity that I have to point out. When Bernie dies, Christmas's boss kicks him off the team. I thought he was doing his fucking job. I was seriously, why the hell did he kick him off the team? It makes no sense. He was doing everything he could to save his friend from the explosion. But he got kicked out of it regardless. Yeah, that scene was so fucking stupid. And I'm glad that Christmas didn't let that discourage him from kicking a lot of ass. Right, now it's time for the spoilers. Again, if you want to avoid the spoilers, you can mute the video right here. But I have to talk about the biggest problem that I have with this movie is I can't without spoiling it. So here goes. Now, by the beginning of the movie, Bernie died, which was a legit sad moment. Although I don't care about the character overall, I still felt sad when Bernie died. And you know, that was perfect. And for most of the movie, I was ready to say that The Expendables 4 is the least awful one because of this. But unfortunately, something big fucking ruined it. By the end of the movie, it turns out that Bernie is still alive it was just faking his death. Yeah, this movie was pulling a rise of Skywalker. How the hell did he survive the explosion? He was in the plane, the front seat, we all saw that. The movie shows it clear as fucking crystal. 
Det är stopp och spolar vi kunde inte survive det. But the movie does show a flashback on how that happened. Apparently he switched borders and jumped on the plane with a parachute. How the hell did no one notice the parachute when he was faking his death? And that's all. He clearly hit the ring on him before we fucking saw that. But that other guy is the one who died with the ring. Fucking what? How the hell did he manage to put the ring on another person in time? I mean, it does take quite a lot of time to put that ring on someone else. How the hell did he accomplish that? Yeah, now some of you might think that these points are nitpicks. Besides, this is a top action movie and you aren't supposed to take it seriously. Honestly, I can see that. But the thing is, those problems that I'm addressing lead to the big problem that burning not actually being dead destroys all fucking tension. Are you fucking kidding me? That is the main issue why I think it's the worst. Oh, and now that we're out of the spoiler section, there is one thing that I forgot to mention earlier on in the review which I was going to mention, so I might as well mention it now before I get to my overall thoughts. I don't mind the action movies, I don't mind them at all. Hell, I fucking love dumb action movies if they are hell of a lot of fun. But in order for a dumb action movie to work, you need good characters which you care about. And like I made clear, this movie doesn't have that. There are plenty of dumb action movies I really enjoy. None of the expandable movies fall under that. Now it's time for overall thoughts. Yeah, this is without a doubt the worst expandable movie so far. And none of the expandable movies are good. So for that, I'm of course going to give it a rating two middle fingers. Well, guys, we'll just the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.